he grabs my elbow. I can't believe you groped me. I believe you showed up at my house. You banging on my door. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the video, we are spilling some tea. So I recently, uh, as you guys know, I recently just got back to South Africa. I've been back now for, I don't know, honestly, just a little over a month, maybe like five going on six weeks. So I will say like, um, the DMs have been very active. I don't know how, like I'm not even, I haven't even been like really outside like that. Like, I literally had a man email me yesterday um, on my business email asking if he could take me to breakfast. So, I said yes, why not? But that's another story, that is not what this, this date that I recently went on is about. So yesterday, um, I agreed to go on a date with this guy that I met last week at Saint on Sundays and I should have known like you I should have known my mom always told me you are not gonna find your man inside of a club and I don't know I don't even know why I said yes I literally don't even well I do know let me back it up so last week I went to Saint on Sundays with some of my friends. Uh, we were going at that point, it seemed like every weekend. Um, but my friend, he was actually on a date. And then the, his date invited his best friend and then my friend invited me. So I don't know if they were trying to do like a little double date situation, but it just wasn't given that. Oh guys, I have on these gloves. Y'all are like, why does he have on these gloves? So I'm getting ready to, uh, I have plans tonight as well. So I'm actually gonna get ready as I'm telling you guys this, but I have on a hand mask, the S Plus Miracle Alloy Essential Hand Care Sheet mask or have it on under the gloves so i want my hands feeling nice and soft but uh that's why i have the gloves on and i'm also about to do my skincare routine so i kind of like sometimes uh applying the products with latex gloves it just feels really nice on the skin but i digress so meet this guy at saint on sundays we um oh hey no 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 so i was with my friends and yeah like i said i don't know if it was like a double date situation i doubt it because it's no, like me and the other guy, we were just giving very friend vibes. Like I was literally calling him sister. So if I'm meeting a man and I call you sister, just know, babe, I don't see anything beyond a platonic friendship. But uh, we all had a good time, but I was sitting down just vibing. Because if you guys have been to Saint, you know, like it's a, it's a, it's a mature crowd. You know, it's like where the who's who's goes and all that, but the music is not the best. Like, it's not gonna give you like something you're gonna like wanna like bend over and shake it. It's just giving very kind of like techno Afro house. But, like, I don't know. I think they're trying to like appeal to a more international diverse crowd, if you know what I mean. So, I was just here chilling. It's a good vibe. So, I'm literally sitting down in one of the chairs at the table playing some little word scrabble game, and this man comes up. And he's like, oh my God, can I dance with you? And he grabbed my hand and I was like, no, bro, I don't feel like dancing, like chill. So I think he finally gets the hand and then I thought that was the end of it. So I go back to my game and then like two, three minutes later, I just feel somebody staring at me. And I'm like, I, like, I can literally feel. So I turn my head and this man is literally right here. And he's just like, Hi, can I have the dance now? And I'm like, no. And I looked at my friend, and my friend was like, do you know him? And I'm like, no, get this man away from me. <laughs> like honestly, from first, first glance, he was just not my type. He was just not my type. Like there was nothing about him that excited me, you know? He wasn't an ugly guy, but I don't know. But then I started to think to myself, I was like, Julian, you did say you wanted to change your type. You wanted to be more open. You didn't want to be, I didn't want to be so one track minded when it comes to the possibility of dating and like finding love. Like I think I need to be more open to different type of people. Cause in the past I've only dated a certain type and nine times out of 10, that type just isn't good for you. So. I thought about that, so then the third time he comes over and he's like, 
come on, dance with me. I just really want to dance. You're just so beautiful. Just, you know, dishing out compliments. So I'm like, fine. So we dance um, as much as we can. So it's a little house music, a little techno music. And yeah, that was that. Then he was like, can I have your number? And I was like, at first I was kind of reluctant, but I was like, sure, why not? I gave him my number. Didn't think anything about it. It was getting late anyway. Uh, I was getting kind of bored. Uh, I don't know what my friends, I don't know if they have plans after, I don't know, but I was ready to go. So, call the Uber and I left. So, fast forward to, uh, so the guy was texting me all week. He was really cool, really funny, found out what he did. Like, I was like, wow, this is a really intelligent guy. Like. I'm impressed, you know, everything was going well. We were communicating consistently, great. So he was like, let me take you to, um, let me take you out to eat uh, this weekend. And I was like, cool, why not? So the day of the date comes and yeah, I was excited, I'm getting all dressed. Like for me, and oh, I was excited for a couple reasons, it had been, such a long time since I've been on a date. Like, I, when, I don't even know the last time I've been on like a proper date. Yeah, like, so I was really excited. I was looking forward to just dressing up, getting, just getting dressed up, getting cute, smelling good, doing my whole little routine, you know, just, just going out, meeting someone. I was really excited about that. Um, so yeah, we get to the date. We ended up deciding to go to Tasha's in Rose Bay. We meet there and I don't know. It just seemed like as soon as I got there, I could just tell things were gonna go left. I walk up and he's just like, He's at the table and like the host, hostess is like, hi, how can I help you? And I'm like, hi, I'm here to meet my friend. I think he's right over there. And he's already like, Juliet, Juliet, oh yeah. Like just screaming. Like I just don't like when people are just really loud for no reason. So I'm like, deduct a point, you know, in my head. So I get to the table and I see like four empty shot glasses already. So we were planning to meet at 3.30. I get there at 3.32. So I'm like, dang, bro, like, dang, you, you're not wasting no time, are you? So I can tell he's already kind of lit, and that kind of annoyed me, but I was like, okay, you know, Julian, just, just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. Oh my God, guys, I'm looking in this um, side view mirror thing on my camera. I must say, the skin is skinny. Side note real quick from the story. The devil has been busy, guys, so... I think this man was also stressing me out during the week. I don't know, maybe I've been stressed out as well, but the devil has been busy. So, as you guys know, I do take a lot of pride in my skincare. Like, that's just something I've always, I'm just into it. I love skincare. I love trying new products. I just love, like, hydrating my skin. It's just it's one of those things that just I just love doing. So I had Yearn Skin reach out to me, which is a South African skincare brand. So I was super excited because one, I've already used their products before, heard of them, I love what they represent. So I, I was all game. They reached out for um, a partnership. I wanted to start working with brands that um, I believe in, like that I actually like the products, things that I'm interested in. So skincare was definitely right up my alley. But this is how the devil's been busy, guys. So it literally, the day I signed the agreement, the next day, I woke up, same morning routine, I go to the restroom, look in the mirror, three pimples right on my face. One, two, and three. And right now, they are fading. If you would've saw them last week, I'ma insert a picture. They were just big and red and just, ooh, like it just looked like something was living inside of it, just nasty. So. When I looked in the mirror, y'all, I screamed. I screamed, because I do my skincare routine twice a day. I hydrate, like I get my face, laser hair. I get uh, laser hair removal on my cheeks uh, and under my neck to prevent like ingrown hairs and things like that. So for a pimple to just pop up out of nowhere. So I was like, oh, the devil is super busy, but everything works out for a reason. And I'm so glad Yearn Skin reached out to me when they did they, so they actually have a niacinamide and turmeric brightening cream that they just launched last week so me getting that product was right on time because uh i, I don't really get a lot of breakouts and pimples so i didn't really have anything to treat dark spots so this was right 
on time. I'm gonna show you guys the products in just a bit. But the brightening cream actually helps with like uneven skin tone. It helps correct hyperpigmentation. It helps lighten and brighten dark spots. So perfect, perfect, perfect. So I've been using it for about a week and I have noticed um, some improvements. Why? So a few reasons why I've been so excited to work with Yearn Skin. First of all, they're black owned. They are black self funded. I mean, that in itself, that's major. Uh, they're probably South African, and one of their missions and focus is to employ women from underprivileged backgrounds. So, I mean, I just, I love all of that. I stand for that. I feel like you guys will love that too. So I definitely want you guys to check out your own skin. I want you to see me apply these products. And if you are interested, of course, I'm gonna link everything below in the description box and you can use my code Julian25 for 25% off. You heard right, 25%, not five, not 10, 25%. So yeah. Oh, that feels nice. That feels really nice. And this is the glycolic cleansing gel. So, as I was saying guys, so I get to the restaurant, I get to Tasha's, um, and he's already there and the man is lit. He's already drunk, already drunk. So I was already deducting points in my head. So I was like, oh wow, you have already started. <laughs> like he just seemed like a total different person than the person that I met at Saints or the person I had like been communicating with that entire week, I don't know. So we sit down, and first thing he does when the waiter comes out is he orders for me. He orders for me and I'm like, and he was like, he'll have a, um, a gin tonic or something. And I'm like, uh, no, I won't. I'll actually have a Red Bull <laughs> and some lemonade, please. So let me put some more on. So yeah. So that was another point deducted. I'm like, why is this man ordering for me? He doesn't even know me that well. Um, so I, I started to get annoyed that quick, but I didn't show it. I'm like, you know what? Let's, it's still early, whatever. So she comes back out to the table, the waiter, and he's like, let's get three more shots. He's ordering shots and he's just taking them down. I don't know if the man was nervous or not, but I think he, I don't know. He just seemed like he was very like on edge. So he just kept drinking and drinking. By the time the food came out, this man was already like, he was, he was feeling it. So once the food comes out and he starts eating, I can tell he like sobers up a little. Do you see that lather? That's nice. That is nice. Um, so once the food comes out, he kind of, um, sobers up a little and I'm like great so at that point we're having like a decent conversation is going well I'm like he's making me laugh I'm thinking things are going great and then I don't know he has another drink and then his personality just kicks back up and then he becomes really aggressive so at this point we're like sitting um across from each other and he's like I want to be closer to you so he grabs the leg of my chair and tries to pull me but this man is, he's like, he's very short, very slim. Like, I'm like, boy, you don't have the muscles to do that. Just sit down. And he's like, no, I want to be closer to you. So then he comes like right beside me and we're like, it's, we're sitting right beside each other, like just like this talking and I can just smell the alcohol, alcohol on his breath. So I'm like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? At this point, I'm already thinking like, I don't waste it my skincare products, I don't waste an outfit, I don't waste time coming here. This, this ain't working. <laughs> this ain't working, that's what I'm thinking. And then he starts getting real, so he's sitting right beside me, and he starts getting real touchy-filly, which I honestly did not like. And he was like grabbing the bottom part of my thigh, and I'm like, please don't touch me. And then he's like, ah, oh, I mean, I'm sorry. I just can't keep my hands off you. You just look so nice. And I'm like, it's fine, but just, you know, let's, let's respect each other right now. So he's still five minutes later. So five minutes passes by and he still is acting like super, like sexual, like just doing a lot. And he was like, you know, I want to show you something on my phone. And I'm eating, not really like thinking anything about it as he's saying this. And I'm like, yeah, sure, what do you wanna show me? So he pulls out his phone and pulls up a video. And I need to know what you guys think about this because for me, I was like, what? <laughs> 
Like I was gagged. Like I just didn't, I didn't even know how to react. This man proceeds to show me, he was like, oh, this is what I want us to do. I'm thinking it's like an activity or some attraction or something going on in the city that he wants us to do together. No, I was wrong. This man pulls his phone out and shows me a video of him. Shows me a video of him poking someone else. We're just gonna say that because I'm not trying to get flagged on YouTube. Poking someone else, like literally right there, like bird's eye view. The camera was like bird's eye view of what was going on. And he was just like, oh yeah, like you like that? You're gonna be next, right? And I'm like, I, I just started laughing. I'm just out of like shock. First of all, the video was, it was mid. I was like, that your stroke is weak from what I can see. I didn't say that, but I'm like, I cannot believe this man is showing me. Like, this is so disrespectful. Like, it just told me everything I needed to know where his head was at, how he viewed me, what he wanted out of this. Him showing me a video of him having intercourse with someone else, a random person. I couldn't tell if the person was white or colored. I don't know, but the whole video, I just, I was just disgusted. I was just disgusted and at that point, my whole mood changed. I don't know, and he was like, oh, you're being so, and I told him, I was like, why would you show me that? Like, literally, why would you show me that? Like, was I supposed to be turned on by that? Like, in what world would I wanna see you I'm going on a date where so I don't know what the date was, but in what world would I want to go on a date with somebody and you show me a video of you doing sexual things with somebody else? Like, he couldn't answer. He was like, oh, you are being dramatic. It's not that deep. Guys, I still got this cleansing gel on my face. Um, let me wipe that off. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I don't feel like my, um, face was damp enough, so I'm gonna put a little more gel. Um, so I'm like, in what world would you, it, what, in what world is that acceptable? So I, I'm turned off, my attitude change. When my nostrils start flaring up and I get quiet, that means, oh, I have an attitude. I had a full on attitude, like I was so ready to go. Like I was ready to go, because I'm like, if I say anything after this, it's not gonna be nice, because one, I don't know, I just feel like that man was disrespecting me, disrespecting my time, and I just didn't like it. He just kind of blows it off and thinks it's okay. I think he was just a little too inebriated to really grasp what he was doing, or maybe, may, I don't know, let me know. Is that normalized? Used to be just sending like, you know, little cute little nudes, thirst traps. Now people have advanced to like, full on homemade amateur videos of themselves with other people, sending it back and forth. And I just, I don't know, maybe I'm getting older, but I just think like, I don't want, if I'm, if I'm, even if I'm trying to hook up with you, I don't want to see you doing that with anybody else. Like, I just don't want to see that. Yeah, I know you're doing it. I'm not crazy, but I don't need to see that. I don't need to see that. So for this man to just show me in person on a date, I was like, I have never in my life experienced this. I don't even know how to react right now. So I excused myself and I went to the restroom and I was looking in the mirror in the restroom. I was like, Julian, what do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do? I was like, this date is not going anywhere. I was like, it's still kind of early. I can go home, change clothes, and I can just go out with my friends tonight. And so that's, that's what I ended up agreeing to do. So as I'm in the restroom, I call my Uber. And it was, luckily it was one that picked up right away. It said arriving in one minute. I didn't even tell the man goodbye. I'm like, at this point, I'm just, I feel disrespected. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't even think he deserves a goodbye. So I leave. I left him out there. We were like sitting in like the outdoor dining area at Tasha's. I left and kind of walked around so he couldn't see me and then passed and went straight to my Uber and left. And I think after 30 minutes, he finally caught the hint. So I finally arrive home and my phone blowing up, blowing up. And it's this guy. And then I get a call from security. But 
Pause on that, cause I need to get this cleanser off my face right now. Oh, I act like I don't have a mirror right here. <laughs> I'm here trying to look in the camera and I'm like, I got a whole mirror in front of me. Feels nice and clean. So what I do next is, um, this is not sponsored, but uh, I've been using this forever. After I cleanse my face, I think it's important to go in with a toner. And this is the one I'm currently, I've been using this one, this is like my go-to. It's the rose water and glycerin. Guys, I go overboard with this stuff. It has like a light rosy smell, like real faint. Um, I think it smells amazing. And yeah, it helps with a uh, even skin tone and that glow. We all want that glow, guys. So I'll let that cool off for a little. So I get home, the man's blowing me up, and I'm like, at this point, I'm not even gonna answer it. Um, and then I get a call from the security guard. And I was like, hello? And he's like, um, we have someone coming up. He, um, he said, he, you, know, you know that he's coming. And I'm like, who? I'm like, who? And then he tells me who it is, and it's the guy that I just went on a date with. And then literally, I'm still on the phone with security trying to figure out like, trying to process that this man is now at my house. And then I get a knock at my door, and I didn't open it, but I was like, who is it? And it's the guy, like, and it wasn't like a pleasant knock. It was like a boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, uh, who is it? And he's like, it's me. Why would you just leave me? Like, I, I was at the restaurant and I see you getting in the Uber. You didn't even say bye, blah, 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 blah. Like, going off, going off on me. And I'm like, oh my God, this is embarrassing for a couple of reasons. I'm like, first of all, I'm, as you got, I don't know if you guys can change, but I switched Airbnb. So in my head, I'm like, I'm in an Airbnb right now. So you can't be doing all this commotion. Like I can't be getting in trouble over you. Like for one and two, I was like, how do you know where I live? Okay, wait, so before I get to that, I need to keep doing my skincare. So, star of the show, so I just cleanse my face, I apply my toner, and now I'm gonna go in with the, uh, the niacinamide and turmeric brightening cream. I've been using this twice a week since last week. I'ma insert a picture of what the, the breakout was looking like when it first um, appeared and it has been lightening up so i have been seeing improvement and i'm so like this came right on time you can apply it all over as well but me personally i like to just apply it directly on the dark spot um because i think i generally have uh, a pretty even skin tone so i just like to use this as like a dark spot treatment and apply it directly onto where I'm seeing the hyperpigmentation. Because we all want very even skin, I think that's the secret to having beautiful skin is having an even skin tone. So if you have any kind of hyperpigmentation or dark spots, you wanna correct that with the Yearn Skin Brightening Cream. So I'm gonna link that below for you guys. Again, use my code Julian25 and get 25% off. So back to the story, the man is at my front door. Um, and I'm a little nervous at this point because you guys, you gotta, you gotta remember, like I'm in a foreign country. Even though I've been here like a lot, it's still a foreign country. I'm by myself. Um, yeah, and again, I'm by myself. So all of my anxiety is just a little heightened, you know. So he's banging at my door. I just met this man less than a week ago. Oh, that's the thing. I was like. I was like, how did you get my address? I was just trying to wrap my head around that. And he was like, oh, remember, um, I sent you lunch. Guys, sorry, I live in a CBD. There's always gonna be some noise going on. <laughs> um, oh, so he's like, remember I sent you lunch earlier this week and you sent me your address? And I'm like, so, Lesson learned, that, that was a mistake. That was definitely a mistake. I just did not think this man would just show up at my house uninvited. So at this point, I put on my sneakers, I put on some basketball shorts, then I open the door and I go outside and I close the door, you know? Like I wasn't gonna let him inside of my house. We were just in the hallway at this point. So I'm asking him, at this point, I'm all the little flirty, cutesy, all that's out the window. Cause in my head, I'm like, Bro, you showed up at my house unexpected. First of all, you already disrespected me on the date. You are drunk, which means, you know, people can be a little violent when they are inebriated. 
And now you are at my door, my front door, uninvited, just popping up like you are my man and now you are questioning me. So, and he's screaming like literally in the hallway, it has the echo and this guy is screaming. So I was like, I tried to defuse the situation for like one, two minutes after that. I'm gonna do something else. So I'm like, bro, I think you should just leave. Um, I wasn't comfortable on the date. Um, yeah, you were like touching me inappropriately. You were showing me stuff I didn't wanna see. You were drunk, you were loud. It just wasn't a good vibe. So I left. And he's just like, well, you could have at least told me. And I was like, well, I didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, I still think you should leave. I'm about to leave soon, so I need you to go. And I'm like, don't show up at my house again. And then he's just like, oh, who do you think you are? I can come wherever I want. I was very calm. Like, you should really watch out for the calm ones. I wasn't screaming or yelling. Like, when I'm really upset, I don't scream or yell. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel. And I'm gonna tell you my next steps before I do it. I'm gonna tell you. And I was like, bro, you need to leave my house. If you don't leave, it's go I'm gonna hit you. And <laughs> he was like, who do you think you are? Uh, I, I take you on a date and you do this to me, like, just screaming. So I asked him again, I was like, can you please leave? He didn't leave and I was like trying to walk him, like guide him in the way to the elevator, to the lift, to leave. He grabs my elbow, grabs it and kind of like pulls on it. That's all it took for me. Cause one, I already didn't like this man touching me on a date. Now he's touching me again and you're out in my house and me, I don't do a lot of this yapping and talking when I already feel threatened. So my natural reaction when this man pulled my elbow, I just reached around, bop, like right in the face. Right in the face, like I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I'm not gonna do all this screaming and yelling, all this dramatics, like, don't put your hands on me. You showed up at my house. I feel threatened, so I have to protect myself. And now you are grabbing me. He's out on the ground, just laying there. And I look at him and I'm like, if you get back up, babe, it's not gonna be nice for you. So I suggest you stop yelling, gather your thoughts. And then when I tell you to get up, you get on that lift and you leave. And I think he realized I was serious. Cause I was like, if you get back up, I'm gonna hit you again. So he just sat there for like two minutes gathering his thoughts. And I was like, are you, have you calmed down now? And he's like, yeah. And he was like, I can't believe you hit me. And I was like, well, I can't believe you groped me. I can't believe you showed me porn videos. I can't believe you showed up at my house. You banged on my door. And I can't believe you just put your hand on me. Like you just grabbed me like very aggressively. So I had to protect myself. I was like, I didn't want to do that. I don't, I don't uh, promote violence or anything like that. But babe, I gotta protect myself. And he was like, oh, I understand, I understand. I was like, okay, I need you to leave and don't ever come to my house unannounced, uninvited and banging on my door. Like delete my address. And he was like, no, but I want to take you out. I'm like, no, delete it. And I'm like, if you come back here again, it's not going to be nice. It's going to be more than just a one hit. So I think he got the hint. <sighs> but I was just so stressed out because I didn't want it to go that far. Like, I'm not a violent person, but you, you like, you, no, you can't manhandle me. Like, babe, stop. I am a man. Like, stop. Like, that's just not going to work with me. So uh, I came back inside after he got, I made sure he got on the left. And then I texted the security guard. He was like, yeah, he just, he just left the building. So I'm like, okay. So that was crazy. Literally crazy. Um, I didn't want it to go there. I'm thinking one, once, I left the uh, once I left the date, I would just come home, change my clothes quickly, and I was gonna go meet my friends and just have me a good night. So this man comes popping up at my door, but y'all let me know below. I don't know if I handled that the best. I really tried, like I tried. There were, a sev there were several moments where I wanted to pop off, at least curse him out. I ain't do none of that. I left the situation. I tried to defuse it. I literally tried to defuse it and that man was just, he just, I think it was the liquor and he just screaming in the hallway so. And when he put his hand on me, I just, I, my natural reaction was just like hit him. Come on. So I had that was, I have never been in that situation while on a date. Like that has never happened before. Like it's a first for everything. Um that guy is a little wild. He is a little crazy. He gives me that he was giving me very much if I can't have you, nobody can vibe. And babe, that's just not gonna happen with me. This is not a lifetime movie. Um 
no, like, no, that's just not gonna happen with me. Go try that with somebody else. So after that, I blocked him. I haven't heard from him since. But um, once I got back inside the house, I had to pray to God. Because first of all, I didn't, I was disappointed in myself that I got out of character like that. But um, in the same breath, I was like, I had to protect myself. I didn't know where that was gonna go. If he was gonna try to like barge into my place, I just didn't know. I just didn't know, so I had to make the executive decision to lay that man out <laughs> right then and there. Just did the brightening cream. Now I'm gonna go in with my Replenish and Repair Skin Barrier Serum. Oh, I love, love, love serums. They just really hydrate the skin. Ooh, look at that packaging, guys. Like, urine skin really did it with the packaging for me. And this has hyaluronic acid in it, which I love. I mean, the hyaluronic acid just does wonders for my skin. Yeah, my skin needed that. It was feeling a little, a little dry. Oh, that feels so good, guys. If you've never applied your skincare products with um, latex gloves, just try it out. Just try it out. If you notice, if you've ever had a facial, a lot of estheticians, they use gloves when they're um, giving you your facial because it just feels so nice on the skin. So you can do it at home yourself. Yeah, a little goes a long way. So now I'm gonna go in with the Active Brightening Facial Oil to give me like that ultra hydration. I kinda like my skin to just look, What's the word I'm looking for? I kind of like to look like a glazed donut after <laughs> applying my skincare products. You know, I like to look real hydrated. Ooh, this is tight. Hold on. Okay, there we go. See that? And a little on the neck. So yeah, we're gonna rub that in. Oh, that feels nice. Yeah, like I said, after that, I had to I had to come inside and pray, um, call my friend, tell them what happened. Oh my God, I think I put on too much. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I ended up still going out last night. I just had to gather myself after all of that. That was crazy. Like that was so, so crazy. So much so I was almost uh, tempted to like cancel my date tonight. Cause I do have, Oh, what time is it? I'm just sitting here taking my time. 7-Eleven, we gotta speed this up a little. Um, got a date tonight, but I actually, I kinda know the guy. We went on an informal date when I was living in Cape Town back in 2021. That's when we met. I say informal because I didn't know we were on a date. I thought, honestly, I thought we were just like two gays in the city living it up as friends. But no, that man was definitely interested in me. I found, I found out through my other friends because I we all ended up going out and the guy was like he was like he left early and I think he just assumed I was gonna come with him <laughs> he was like, okay Julian about to go and I was like oh, okay cool let me know when you get home because we were like out and he was like are you not gonna come with me because we did come together and I was like no like it's only 10 30 like I'm, I'm out I'm out here I'm out here in the streets it was December 2 in Cape Town I was like uh-uh I'm, I'm no no, 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 no. So I think he got a little upset. Um, Cause, But in my head, guys, I'm thinking we're just friends. I wasn't thinking like, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, we ended up reconnecting now that he has moved here to Joburg and now I'm in Joburg. So somehow the stars have aligned and we are going on like our first formal date tonight. Guy is really smart. He's sweet. Um, and he's kind of like me. Um, God, some people are shocked by that, but I'm also into like, like feminine guys. Like I like that. Like, like I just love like a um, muscle man that's like kind of feminine. Oh, just turns me on. And he kind of fits that description. So, yeah. Cause I mean, honestly, guys, I've dated so many like super super masculine men. All the like big buff. Like I've dated bodybuilders, athletes. All of that, like I done did all of that and they pretty much all act the same. No personality. Um, most of them are not even comfortable with their sexuality. They just, they don't even love themselves. So it's hard for them to love someone else, let alone another man. So it's just a bunch of hoo-ha with that. And then I realized most times when I really think about it, I'm like, I'm really only here for the physical anyway. So 
But now I'm looking for something a little more real and I'm like, I need someone who is a little more like me or just someone, no, I'm not gonna say that, but I need someone who's comfortable with themselves. So that's why I'm also kind of like trying to change my type as well. So I don't know how I got on that. Guys, did I put on too much? The man, he's blocked, but um, somehow he's found me on Instagram and he's just asking for another chance. He said um, he was very drunk and all of that. And I'm just like, no, first impressions are very big to me. And bro, you ruined it. You ruined it. I already wasn't attracted to you. I didn't like what you had on. Like, there's just nothing, like, no. So then for you to get drunk, get out of line, put your hands on me, Show me inappropriate, it, the list was just too much. It was too much, but I told one of my other friends and they were like, oh, Julian, you were kind of in the wrong. It wasn't that big of a deal, you know, like, maybe he just thought the video would like turn you on. And he did say that, but I was like, well, it didn't. So what am I supposed, like, it didn't. Like, it, like nothing about that turned me on, you know? Let me know below how you would have reacted um, I'm trying to move with grace now, so me getting to that point of hitting him uh, was a little much, but the man grabbed my arm hard, like he grabbed it hard, like, get back here. It was given like a Ike and Tina situation, like, it was like a, don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. That's how I felt in that moment, and I was like, uh-uh. So again, guys, I'm gonna link all of the products below for the skin, I mean, look at the skin. I mean, this speaks for itself. I don't have on no makeup. This is not no contour, this isn't highlighting. This is just good skincare products and a good routine. So yeah, I'm gonna link all the products below and I wanna thank Yearn Skin again for sponsoring this video. I also want you guys to pray for me. Pray for me tonight for this date. Like I just hope it goes well because the way I've been having luck lately, I just don't know. So we'll see, but quick little side note, I do have I don't know, I think I have a breakfast date lined up for Monday. So, like I said guys, we are in the season of saying yes. You know, like I'm recently single. I was in a very just mundane, dull relationship back home with someone who wasn't even worthy of my time. So now I'm just like, yes. Somebody wanna take me out, they wanna do something, yes, let's do it, just don't be weird. Yeah, I'm gonna get dressed. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing though. But I'm gonna wear these high-waisted, whatever you wanna show off, you know, the curves a little bit, with still being a little classy, high-waist baby, just go with a high-waist pant. So I'm gonna wear these high-waisted pants, they literally come like all the way up here. So it just, it really gives the curves right here, you know? So it's gonna really do that. But they're um, wide leg. So really, really nice. I got these from Orange Culture, which is like my favorite Nigerian fashion designer. Oh my God, I love them. They have so many pieces I have saved in my cart. Like I just, we are just waiting. We are waiting for the special moment. Like they have those pieces that it's a moment. But uh, love, love, love these. I'm gonna wear that. And then I think I'm gonna do like an all orange look because I just bought an orange bag as well. Um, so and I'm gonna wear this orange shirt. You guys have seen this before. So I'm gonna wear this orange shirt, this orange, and then the, the bag is a different orange as well. Just do like an all orange look. And then I don't know what shoe I'm gonna wear. I don't know what shoe, and I'm gonna do that with brown aviators. But yeah guys, that's my little story time of my first date here in South Africa. Well, my first date since I've been back in South Africa. It was definitely an interesting one. Things got a little crazy. I just hope I don't run into that man again when I go to Saints or just anywhere else. I just don't want to see him. I just don't want to see, if I run into him, I'm gonna act like I have amnesia. I'm gonna be like, who, who? I think he met my twin, it can't be me. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> But I always forget to say it, but give this video a like, definitely comment, share, subscribe. Guys, I'm looking at my analytics. I just looked at them last week. 54% of people are not subscribing, but y'all are coming back every video and watching. But 
you're not subscribing. Like, the math isn't math, and clearly you like the content. Come on, just subscribe. It's free, it helps me out. And also click the notification bell so you are notified when I post a video. But yeah, guys, I need to finish getting ready. It is almost eight o'clock. Honestly, it's 7.52, so at this point I'm late. So <laughs> let me finish getting dressed and I'm gonna update you guys in the next video on how this goes. Bye.